Item number RPC-094. Designation Blinding Light. Object Class Beta. Containment Protocols. RPC-094 is contained within a highly pressurized soundproof chamber. The containment chamber is fit with a set of four black lights used to observe the entity and monitor anomalous behavior. On the orders of Dr. Observation of RPC-094 is strictly prohibited without level 3 clearance or above. Description. RPC-094 was discovered in the redacted region of Oregon State, year 1993. First contact with RPC-094 was made by two local high school boys and who happened upon the anomaly after reportedly straying from a local hiking trail in the area. Bodies were recovered June 22nd. However, autopsy reports show that the two had been dead for at least two and a half months prior to their discovery. Upon close inspection by research personnel, severe damage was noted to the rejected in both cases. Retrieval of the anomaly led to the death of and the rest of MTF Theta 42. RPC-094 seems to possess no identifiable corporeal form, and, unless illuminated by a black light, is completely invisible to the naked eye. Reportedly, a ticking sound is an audible indicator that RPC-094 is within close proximity. It is ill-advised to wear sunglasses when facing RPC-094, as the filtering of UV rays assists in the partial observation of RPC-094's corporeal form. Upon being seen, RPC-094 has been observed to remove the redacted of its victims. Addendum Interview D-114-2 Interviewed D-114-2, Hispanic male, age 24 Interviewer Research Director Forward The following interview took place on the of April 19 after experimentation was conducted with D-114-2 and RPC-094 when faced with direct interaction in the first observable study. Begin log. Research Director. Hello, 114. How are your eyes? D-114-2. Why haven't I died? I should be dead. I smell apples. Please try and focus, 114. I want to speak with you about what you witnessed in 094's containment cell on the... Redacted. Oh, my brain hurts. My head's going all crazy. Crazy. I saw the... Redacted. And something wonderful happened. It should be noted that at this time, D-114-2 inserted two of his fingers into the socket where his left eye used to reside. End log. Closing the statement. D-114-2 suffered from yet another psychotic break amidst the interview, and security personnel were forced to restrain and sedate him for the third time since... Redacted. Approximately one week after this interview, D-114-2 was given a final psychological evaluation before being euthanized. A brief summary of his pre-mortem experimentation files can be found at... Redacted. Experimentation Log 01 Subject D-114-2 Equipped with UV filtration lenses Procedure D-114-2 entered RPC-094's containment cell at approximately Redacted and was instructed to move into the center of the room. The black light system in 094's containment cell was activated shortly after and D-114-2 was closely monitored for any anomalous activity for 10 minutes. Results. Four minutes into the experiment, a loud ticking sound was noted by observers and promptly documented. Initial documentation lists the frequency of ticks at approximately 20 BPM. By the end of the experiment, the BPM of the ticks had exceeded 245. A brief malfunction of the black light system caused a momentary lapse of observation for D114-2. By the time visual contact was restored, D-114-2 was observed to be lying in the fetal position against the entrance to RPC-094's containment cell. His redacted appeared to have been surgically removed. <laughs>